Well, first it was movies, then televisions. Now 3D is about to revolutionise plastic surgery. The breakthrough technology is described as the ultimate communication tool between doctor and patient, a machine that takes the guesswork out of how patients will look after the operation. And as Josh Fazulan reports, soon it'll cover every procedure. But I don't think I've ever seen one patient that's just like, ooh, they love it. I really think it's a must-have. I think it's the way of the future. It's the try before you buy plastic surgery. As easy as A, B, C, D, double D. We could give you a little bit more chin projection. Mm -hmm. You like that? Yeah. Not sure how big you want your breasts, how much chin to tuck. This shows you what you'll look like. Perhaps some of plastic surgery's most famous faces should have tried this technology. Maybe that have thought twice. So she's going to feel totally, totally confident, and the end result is what she's really wanting, and she's going to be able to see that before the fact. Peter Cole is from Belfast company Axis 3. They can tweak, they can twist, they can add, they can subtract. Now they can show you from the front on to the side, like how your nose can be changed and the height and the width and everything, what they do with your nose, it's just incredible. Watch how Marley Anderson's face is manipulated. In moments, she's looking at a new nose, new chin, the works. I was actually looking forward to get my breast done. And so it'd be a lot better to use this than just chucking on a bra that the surgeons actually give you. And then the patient goes, yep, that's the one I want. Pamela Noon is a plastic surgery consultant. She says this technology would take away the worry. They're very often going into an operation not really sure what they're getting, not really sure what the outcome of the sizing or the shape's going to be, and this is going to take that worry out of the equation for them. Using four projectors and four cameras, the simulator captures a 3D image of your torso. Then the computer software does the rest, predicting how your skin tissue would react. It's pretty darn accurate. It's probably 98%. It's as accurate as a simulation can possibly possibly. The wow factor is amazing. That's enough to sell any patient. 